Wind resistance shapes the way bike races look, the tactics used and who wins. No one should underestimate how important wind direction is, but when the wind blows stronger it can influence how all of us ride. Here's how to minimise its effect and stay safe. It is well accepted that aerodynamics in cycling become much more important at speeds of over 30 k's per hour, which means that even without a particularly strong headwind, a rider could benefit from thinking about their position on the bike. Keep your elbows in, lower your head and lean forward to try and minimise your frontal area. If you're riding in a group, it might be worth riding in single file and taking shorter turns on the front. This avoids your riding mates sitting sheltered in the group, riding very slowly, while two riders sit on the front smashing themselves into the teeth of a gale. Strong crosswinds can actually create problems and dangerous situations for cyclists. I'm sure we've all been in the situation where we felt the front wheel catch in a gust of wind and twist the handlebars in our hands. It's worth thinking about your bike setup a little if you normally ride with deep section wheels. Pros often ride shallower wheels on really windy days, or at least have a lower profile rim in the front. Unless you're a really large rider, avoid riding anything deeper than a 50mm rim in strong crosswinds, and preferably go down to 25mm. Crosswinds create some of the most exciting racing that we see all year, with small groups of riders forming, called echelons. This is where, in order to take shelter from the wind, a rider must sit behind and to the side of the rider in front. There is obviously a limited amount of space available on the road, and so at some point one rider has to sit in the wind. This creates splits in the peloton and really aggressive and violent racing conditions. A tailwind is never a problem per se. The only thing to watch out for is if you start out with one, think you're as strong as an ox and forget that you've got to be pedalling back into a headwind. If you have the choice available, start out into the headwind and then enjoy sailing all the way home. This one is caused by a hole in the tyre itself, just on the sidewall here. Now what will happen if you just replace your tube and pump it up is it's likely that the inner tube will poke through and the pressure